Hello everyone, and welcome back to The Sims 4 Green Family Legacy, the eco-fern season, as we join Fern Green, our Generation 3 heiress, as she completely tries to ignore the fact that she's supposed to be at university right now, and will continue her unintentional running away from home another day. She just sat down and tried to figure out how to draft an email to her family, figure out how to contact them and let them know she's totally okay, not at university, so so you can come get her anytime. You know, just got her luggage lost, misplaced herself in a whole nother town. But the more she tried to figure out what to write, it just wasn't coming to her. And instead, it seems she wants to go off to research the mushrooms that we planted outside. <gasps> Look at how fast they grew. I am so freaking impressed by that. We could already go ahead and harvest all of these mushrooms. And we could either go ahead and sell them or we can turn them into biofuel, which I think is what our lovely and very fun uh, Kelsey is coming down to do. She was actually coming down to talk to the plant, which I thought was really cute. So we're going to let her go ahead and talk to this plant and maybe do a little bit of research. Can she do research yet? No, she needs to get her gardening level up. How fun! See, she was really hoping that somebody with a little bit of a knack for gardening would be able to come and help out. Uh, so I think we're going to have her come and praise. <gasps> Become best friends? Oh my gosh, do I ever wish we could do that. I'm going to have her come and like brighten Fern's day and be like, Fern, this is fantastic. This is what I was always hoping for. Nobody in the New Way Initiative understands enthused about city planning. Yes. I, I could totally see her being like, nobody in the New Way Initiative understands what to do with plants just yet. And if we're going to be able to grow a greener future, we're going to need to know. So definitely, absolutely, brighten day and chat about these happy, happy mushrooms. And in fact, let's have Fern be like, um, really? Well, like, I'd be happy to give a gift, a friendly gift. Uh, and let's actually give a friendly gift of something fun that we have. Let's give a friendly gift of the, maybe the, not the unidentified flying object. Um, let's have Fern maybe give a gift of the pomegranate. Yeah, why not? She's like, well, I, I grew this pomegranate back at home. Our family runs a farm and like, here's this pomegranate that we made. Really fun. Also, Gene is actually over here. He wants in on the conversation and maybe the free food apparently. Jean, a little personal space, please. But Jean actually is repairing the sinks that we brought home from the dump right now. I'm going to make him come over and take care of this one, too. No, come back, come back. You're supposed to be able to... Oh, she's feeling really uncomfortable from how messy everything is with Jean. So I'm going to probably have her scavenge for parts and clean up pretty soon. Uh, but I want her to be able to get the gift from Fern. Gene, you're adorable. He saw free food being offered. He wanted to go ahead and see what that was all about, but it wasn't for you, buddy. It was for Kelsey. And there we go. Hopefully that'll go over well. <laughs> Yay! She took it well. Okay, that makes me pretty happy. And let's have her go ahead and brighten day. Again, because we're trying to get her, uh, and maybe compliment her outfit. Like, of course, it's perfect for being able to do some farming. And you know what? They're having a lot of problems with this adorable, but kind of in the way, little stand. So we're going to move this all the way to the front. And I think that's finally going to give us a bit more balance. Woof. And I wonder where there's that bit of lagging. Interesting. Sorry about that, guys. I think, uh, eco living or eco lifestyle, I've noticed, has just, huh. One second. There we go. Now I got it working. Sorry about that. I've noticed that there's just like unexpected little lag spikes lately with eco lifestyles, but I wonder if it has something to do with maybe the environment changing. And I'm really hoping that this building changes. Like when does the voting, we voted, when does the voting like change things? Did we need more votes in order to transform things? 
or do we actually have the neighborhood action plans that we were hoping for like going right now? I'm so curious about how that's going to work, but we'll have to see. And for now, Kelsey is actually getting ready for her morning as a junior drafts person. And she needs to acquire some recycled materials, she, which are the pieces. And she needs to get an eco upgrade part, which she already has. And basically just, you know, work on figuring out how to make this place greener. And she's really hoping with Fern's knowledge of plants, maybe we'll be able to achieve that. So let's actually encourage Fern to go ahead and we'll tell Insider's story. Sneeba, sneeba, I'm a course. And course. let's encourage Fern, enthused about city planning, ah. to buy some seeds. Yeah. And Fern is going to go ahead and buy some seeds and try planting those seeds in the vertical garden because Fern's also curious to see if she's got the skills to take that on. Oh, Kelsey. Congrats on landing that sweet job. I think this is going to be great for you. Oh, nice! The random townspeople. That was old Lady Mary is apparently pretty impressed with what we have accomplished. Wait, neighborhood action plan. I get, think that was just saying that we got some more influence points, which is nice. I wonder how many influence points you need to, like, improve things. All right, but we'll go ahead. We'll say that we're encouraging Fern. And Kelsey is like, I really have to clean this place up. This is getting too much for me. Uh, let's have her scavenge for parts and then maybe start cleaning things. And let's have Fern come over. And we're going to have her purchase some. So you do have to have vertical gardening seeds and flowers. I've got it now. Okay, so let's do vertical gardening herbs fruits and flowers and let's say that this is a gift from Kelsey to Fern and we're going to open up those seeds so they're a little different open seed packet from the vertical garden vertical flowers and now we've got some daisy seeds some rose seeds and some bluebell seeds those are so sweet okay roses aren't going to do anything but the daisies would where can, it, can I put them in two places or just one place? Okay, so we can put daisies there and maybe some bluebells up here. And then let's go ahead and open up the fruit packet. Yeah, and we'll say that, oh, I should have had, I should have had Kelsey actually buy these and then give them to Fern as a gift. But I just love the idea. Okay, so summer is the season for strawberries. So we can't do strawberries right now. Summer and fall for soybeans. So we can't use those ones. And then we have got parsley, which is spring. So we can put down some parsley. Oh, and some sage, which is also spring. Yay! So we don't have any fruits just yet. We'll have to wait, but we're gonna say that all of these were a gift from Kelsey. And we're going to plant all of them in the vertical garden. Oh, heck am I ever excited about this. And I would love to upgrade them with automatic pest control and watering systems, but we'll have to look into that in just a little bit. But we're gonna let Fern plant all of these as like a gift from Kelsey. And Kelsey has just acquired the handiness skill after digging around in some things. And I think she would beg, like really beg Jean to go take a shower. All right, but we're gonna focus on Jean and Kelsey today as Kelsey begins her best to clean this place up. There, now she's happy because she's cleaning Things are hopefully going to get a little better. She does have to scavenge for some parts to be able to get some recycled material. She loves being able, oh, that's just, that's her dream right there. Being able to transform what was a broken wreck into a beautiful, beautiful sink uh, that is now actually worth a little bit more simoleons. So I'm gonna have to think about what I wanna do with that. Oh dear, hmm. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna study this. Okay, we're good. I think we're, we're in the clear. Ah, maybe it's because Lillian starts work in an hour? Uh, no, we don't want to do that. Come here, come here. And we're actually going to have her recycle these things. Let's have her clean this up. She's even going to... I don't think she worries about mopping up the spot, but we're going to have her clean up this filthy sink. And maybe that will help her out a little bit more. All right, come on down, Kelsey. And then Fern, how are you doing on planting everything? Okay, things look a little interesting planted like this. Just saying, I think that I need to upgrade my display that I have from Braz and Lotus. I have a really beautiful, really amazing um, changed harvestable setup from Braz and Lotus. And I think it's kind of like freaking out right now, but we'll be okay. All right, 
Kelsey, how you doing? Alright, Kelsey's cleaning up. There we go. So she's going to be happy from tidying up. And, you know, I think... Look at that! Nice and clean! I love it! Uh, whoops! So I thought I fixed the lagging issue, guys, and then I realized I wasn't recording, so... <clears throat> Good thing I noticed pretty soon. But, basically, Fern has come in after watching Liliana tidy everything up, or not Liliana, excuse me, Kelsey. Kelsey is currently cleaning things up, she's feeling great, she's really happy to be able to contribute to, uh, you know, making the world a better place. She's feeling really fantastic for cleaning things up, and she's dreaming big and bigger about what we could do to clean even more things up. And Kelsey has actually already acquired recycled materials from cleaning up the mess that uh, a certain a certain gene made when he brought the sinks home and now they have repaired these i think that these sinks i'm not sure if they're quite as fancy let's check do i have a sink i actually don't have a sink in the upstairs so this is a good time to go ahead and grab a sink for the upstairs and see if we can wiggle it in here somewhere not quite sure how that's going to work but we'll see do we have a sink downstairs we actually do. We already have a sink downstairs, so we're going to go ahead and sell this other sink for some money. And then that, there we go, that should go ahead and spruce things up. Oh, and she wants to cloud gaze with Gene to maybe talk about how all of his cleaning has really been helping out. That is so awesome. All right, we'll cloud gaze with him in a little bit, but first we need to go use the restroom. And I really, I'm so curious on, like, when does the trash start getting cleaned up? Did we need to vote on even more neighborhood plans? Or is that going to be mostly with the Eco Innovator events? That might be the case. And we just got 32 bits from cleaning up all of the mushrooms that Fern actually had. So we've got quite a bit of, like, biofuel now, I think. And we're going to say that Kelsey suggested to Fern to try out, you know, adding fuel into the generator to see how you can use those mushrooms you've been growing, Fern, to be able to create a whole new source of energy, more eco-friendly energy. And I mean, Fern, her mom has only ever really gotten her into all of the gardening that they have done with the idea of making a lot of money off the family farm. So being able to actually use the mushrooms to create biofuel, like, this is sounding really cool. How does it work? Fern's getting pretty curious about this, if you ask me. Alright. Cool! And now we've started the generator. And you just leave it running. And then we can upgrade it to have a green filter, improve efficiency, or make unbreakable. And then I think what happens is now that we are trying to generate our own power, if we come over and we show the bill information, then this will be like the power that we're producing. So we want to try to produce even more energy. Right now we're just like taking a lot of energy. I don't think, yeah, we're, we're negative energy, negative water. So we're taking more than we're producing. But I think Fern's kind of excited about this. She's, she's beginning to wonder like, wait, so there's a way we can actually offset this using my mushrooms I grew? That's very exciting. And it's so exciting, we're going to go ahead and have Firm actually farm some grubs. <laughs> we're going to have her put in a little grub farm, guys, uh, at this little bug hotel that everybody's been meaning to do something with, but nobody has just yet. Because I think that this would be freaking adorable. Also, we're cooking some grilled cheese over there. That's fine, Kelsey. <gasps> Look at the little grubs! Oh my gosh, can we nurture them? Oh, look at that! Fern has found some little grubs in the dumpster. I love it. I absolutely oh, adore nice. this. This is so freaking cute. Darna. Not a chicken. Not a chicken. Even though many of us thought that that possibly was indeed a chicken. Uh, not a chicken. Yeah, there we go. She doesn't have a dog, but she's got a, she's got a little grub she can coo over at least. Hopefully that will continue to inspire her to think about other things other than her dog. And now she wants... Oh, she's thinking about being part of the outdoors. Being able to fish. We can maybe buy some pet balls just to get her to focus on something else. 
That's really cute. Aww. So she's nurturing. Oh, look at all the little grubs. Aww. So they all just climb around the side of the bug Aww. barn. And they hang out inside of here as a bunch of little grub grubs. <gasps> and let's see. Tranquil. They're fine on health. Aww. They're well fed. Collection not <laughs> ready. Huh. So we can clean out the insect farm. We can collect biofuel. Biofuel is not yet ready. Insects generate biofuel 24 hours after biofuel or insect ingredients are collected or the farm is filled with insects. And collect grub meal. I don't want to collect them to eat. That's not what we're doing this for. They're going to produce composted biofuel for us, which I hope Fern is pretty excited about. Also, is there actually like a compost machine? It's been a while. I've forgotten. Fern planted all of these. I think they're doing pretty good. And I think she needs a nap, frustratingly. I feel like my sims get tired way too often. She woke up at six, it's only noon. We should be able to do more. In fact, we're gonna have her come over and I think Fern's really starting to cotton in on all of this. Especially if she <gasps> could maybe try fabricating something herself. Yes, you do know what? We're going to have Kelsey allow her to use the fabricator and try fabricating something for herself. Maybe something nice and simple to get you started, like a nice rug. You know what? Let's have her fabricate a rug. And oh my gosh, there's houndstooth rug, grim rug, sky rug, sage rug. Let's have, okay, we need to buy some dye and let's purchase some dyes. We're going to get some sage green dye. Heckin' yeah, another gift from Kelsey, we'll say. And we're going to fabricate a sage green rug and let Fern try that out. That should be a lot of fun for her. And meanwhile, Miss Civic Designer over here is just enjoying a little bit of grilled cheese sandwiches, trying to have a little bit of fun, but she really struggles to have a lot of fun just wandering around. So we're going to have her cloud gaze with Jean. She wants to do that and that will increase her fun. Uh, and I think that she actually wants to start another like new way club gathering to try to get that fun up. And I'm so curious, I know you guys probably know this by now, but when do the initiatives start? How do we manage to change everything? There's no more voting to be had. So right now I think Kelsey would just be thinking about how important it is to really solidify having an event of some kind. In fact, maybe we should go ahead and start hosting events. Yay, Infern! And here Fern is experimenting with the fabricator that Kelsey is letting her use. And Devin is absolutely, Devin, her mom, is starting to try to look for her. But we're going to be ignoring that because Fern is focusing on making the world a greener place. She's feeling really inspired. She's getting that fabrication skill up and going. And I think she actually is definitely going to help out Kelsey at making the world a greener place for now. Because, you know, spending a couple more days watching over the little grub farm and, you know, she's helped with getting some of the plants started. But it's just an early beginning. Oh, look at those grow so fast. Holy heck. I love it. But, you know, she just barely got her fingers in the dirt here. And the plants don't look that happy and healthy. The weather is still a little bit weird. And I feel like Fern would be quite content. Uh-oh. <laughs> the fabricator attack of the fabricator dang it our rug no okay so we unfortunately didn't manage to get our rug fabricated but she doesn't look deterred like deterred at all i think that fern's actually feeling pretty excited about potentially helping out with these initiatives so let's try again yeah, we we kind of we kind of got this all thrown back at us, but she's not going to give up. This is going to be exciting. The flower and music event is happening in Sulani. That is so cool. I love getting little alerts from my mods that let me know what kind of events are going on in the other cities. Not that we're going to be leaving here right now. Come on, you can do it, Fern. Oh, she's too uncomfortable. All right, go use the restroom. Why do you need sleep? No, you don't need to go all the way down there. All right, maybe they can't use this door because this thing's in the way. So we're gonna actually move this down here and see if that helps things. Okay. 
All right. And now maybe Fern can actually use the toilet without having to go around and around. Because I would think that you could just walk through here. Oh, that's fine. We're already we're already downstairs. I see how it is. Also, we really need to get a laundry hamper, like a functional laundry hamper. So I'm gonna actually sell this cutesy laundry hamper. And we're gonna search for an actual laundry hamper. Let's see, laundry before poor Kelsey just loses her mind. Because there's just like laundry absolutely everywhere and that is just not going to do. All right. I forgot how hard it can be to herd my sims into doing things, especially when they get tired so easily. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take that to hamper. Don't mind if we do. Those clothes look absolutely rotten. I think Jean was wearing them. Oh my freaking gosh. <laughs> That's more than slightly terrifying. Oh, those are, those are very scary clothes. Also, have these finally dried? They have! <gasps> Yay! See, and this is something Fern knows how to do. I think she is gonna help out. Like, you know, tidy up the laundry a little. Just take care of things. Oh my gosh, Kelsey is immediately on it. She's like, I have got this. I'm taking it all to the hamper. No time to waste. Oh, and Fern is actually taking a nap despite my attempts to get her to go outside and do the laundry. Uh... Ah, uh, fine. All right, we'll focus on Kelsey for just a second. And meanwhile, for her part, Kelsey is feeling really rewarded, really happy that somebody is actually helping out at, you know, tidying everything up. She can see progress being made, and progress is why she's here. So let's send Kelsey up to do a little bit of fabricating. Well, I guess Fern is doing her fabricating. So, oh, Kelsey is like, I'm on it. I'm cleaning the place up. Everybody else has taken a nap. Not me. Curses, and Fern is very tired. Yeah, Kelsey's on this. She's not going to be putting up with the, the chaotic mess that has been formed. Oh, look at all these clothes. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm going to take these to the hamper. Like, or actually, let's actually put these in her inventory. And Kelsey, can you... I don't want to scrap Fern's first fabrication. But you know what? We'll go ahead. We'll scrap Fern's first fabrication for now. Because we're going to let Kelsey go ahead and craft up some more things. In fact, I have an idea. We're going to have her fabricate that rug. Mm. Or an eco part. We're going to have her fabricate more eco parts. Because that's very important for the projects that she's working on. Whatever those mysterious projects may be. And you know what? Fern has just worked herself to sleep yet again here in this very interesting uh, evergreen harbor and she seems to be finding a place. Here people are really appreciating the work that she does to take trash and turn it into mushrooms and turn it into biofuel. She's able to make a bit of a difference and I think just for now she's going to go ahead and she's going to help out Kelsey. You know just just thinking about how she is only helping here you know she won't stay for long but uh, yeah, maybe she needs a little bit more time to think and kelsey really does seem to need her help when it comes to the civic design projects so we're actually going to have fern temporarily join the civic design career and her mentality is that she's just going as kelsey's assistant she's just here to you know help out She's already reached level two of the handiness skill, which is amazing. And interview a homeowner about utilities. <laughs> That's so much fun. And she's already an, agri uh, an agricultural apprentice. <gasps> she's already over Kelsey. Really? Oh my gosh. She's a jump ahead of Kelsey. That's amazing. So she does have skills that Kelsey could use. And we're going to say that Fern isn't like officially employed by anyone. Um... She needs to get some recycled materials. We're going to say that instead, Fern is is helping out. So that's how we're going to look at this. Uh, all of the, the jump that she just got is the experience that she can bring to help Kelsey out when it comes to doing their best to make the world a better place and uh, improving 
improving the civic career. So yeah, not officially employed, just helping Kelsey, but it's definitely already paying off. But all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and leave our little crew here. I think I finally fixed the weird little laggy issues we've had. Ha 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 ha. Jean, I can't turn my back on you for like two seconds. Oh my gosh. I think we're producing a ton of trash. We're still producing some like generated fuel uh, from the mushrooms that Fern has actually planted. Has that made any kind of a difference in our bills? <gasps> it has! We're actually zero for zero. We should go ahead and save up some money and buy another generator and see if we can manage to sell some things back to the grid, which will be very important, especially if Kelsey is going to join us in the Eco Innovator event that she wants to do and vote on one neighborhood action plan. Curses. That's going to have to wait until <laughs> until the end of the week now. For now, we'll go ahead and we'll keep Kelsey uh, focused on... Actually, is there a... Is there a, would it be family, creativity, master maker? Yeah, we're gonna have her come over and do the master maker skill because uh, I think that somebody from a little on up high may have asked Kelsey or commanded her, depending on how you look at it, to become a master maker. So we're going to let her go ahead and fabricate away. Fern has decided not to send that email to her parents just yet. She knows she needs to do something about it, but you know, in all of her life, she's been pretty good at running away from things. So we're going to leave her with her thoughts. And when we come back, we'll have to see how we can progress because I really want to try like selling the power back on the utility. I think if we get further up on the aspiration, Fern's going to start feeling a lot more confident. And it would be really interesting to see if she even can make a lot of headway in this civic in the, like the civic designer career because this is quite exciting and uh maybe she'll find her confidence there so thank you guys so much for joining me if you could do please leave a like for our little <laughs> new way crew and if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures do please consider subscribing but most importantly my friends stay curious and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye